Water levels on the Yakagani River will continue to recede throughout the day, and as the water retreats, it leaves behind a lot of damage. And apparently, some people have decided to move the barricades and cones that have been set up to try to block flooded roads. Megan Schiller has this story. The waters are now receding along the banks of the Yakagani River, but there still is pretty significant damage here along the marina. The steps still covered in water, and the docks did see some damage. We talked with homeowners who are now beginning to clean up. The sound of pumps fill the air. This new video shot overnight shows the tireless push by homeowners in Elizabeth Township to drain water from basements and garages. 23 people plus beagles and four-day-old kittens spent the night at this fire hall in West Newton. Many, including four families and more than a dozen senior citizens, found a dry bed thanks to the Red Cross. This morning, uh... We've been dealing with, uh, you know, people either going around barriers or the barriers have disappeared overnight. Because of that, Fire Chief Wayne Cosgrove said the driver of this Audi didn't stop driving straight into the deep water. He's the third person in two days that uh, we've either had to assist out or the Swift Water Rescue Team from the county has come out. Crews from DeRoseburg will now set up new signs along Route 837 until the water drains. I don't know why people can't stop and think before they drive through. Back at the river, debris still clings to the railings, and the rushing water folded the wooden docks in half. And at its highest point, the water covered the sidewalks and came over here past these benches throwing debris. Whenever it got to its highest point, it was halfway up the parking lot at McKeesport Marina. Reporting at McKeesport, I'm Megan Schiller, KDKA TV News.